In a previous video, we edited a script that was generated through the SPM GUI. We will use the same script and impose a for loop on it in order to analyze all the subjects, one after another, without having to do anything in between. This makes it much easier and less tedious to analyze large numbers of subjects. The steps for modifying the script can be found in the link to the book down below. But to make this simpler for this video, we will go to the GitHub link, which is also provided below, and we will download the script Haxby scripted all subjects. To download it, click on raw, right click, then click save as, and save the script in the Haxby data folder, removing the .txt at the very end. Now open this script in the MATLAB terminal, and we'll take a look at what we changed. First, we've created a subjects vector, which specifies which subjects we are going to analyze. And then we've imposed a for loop on all the code, which will run all the code within the loop for each subject. We convert the subject variable to a string using num to string. And then we have a couple of if else statements to check whether the anatomical image and the functional images are unzipped. If they're not, it will unzip it. If they already are unzipped, it'll do nothing. And we do the same thing for functional runs one through 12. The variable subject replaces the number of the subject that we had in the original script. In this case, we'll replace it with numbers two, three, four, and six. Also notice in this next block of code, we replace this path that I had before, which is specific to my machine, and we replace it with a block of code that includes the variable PWD and the subject in the current for loop, which should make it portable between machines. Throughout the rest of the script, you can look at your own pace and take note of when we replace paths with say PWD and the subject number, as well as when we load the timing files. For example, in this block of code right here. And see how it's different to what we've changed compared to the original Haxby script. Once you've finished reviewing it, you can run the script by typing Haxby script all subjects. And then it will run through each of the subjects and do the pre-processing just as we did a few videos ago. I'm going to fade out here and come back when it's done. Once we've finished pre-processing those subjects, we will need to do the same thing for subject number five. So first, save a copy of this script. I'm going to call it Haxby script subject five, and then open it in the MATLAB terminal. The first thing that we're going to change is in the subjects vector, replace those numbers with the number five. And we're also going to remove run 12, which was not included with this particular subject. That means we need to comment out any other line that refers to run 12, such as this line that loads run 12 of the bold files. Again, we find another line here that contains a reference to the 12th run. If we scroll down to the section that specifies the model, you will find an entire block of code dedicated to filling in the timings for run 12. Highlight that entire block that refers to run 12 and comment it out. Then run the script by typing Haxby script subject five and then pressing enter. Again, I'm gonna fade out and come back when it's finished. Once we've pre-processed all of the subjects, we can do our MVPA analyses. The edits we do to these scripts are going to be very similar to what we just did for the pre-processing scripts. And we have some scripts already made for you on the GitHub page. So go ahead and download the file Haxby MVPA Searchlight scripted and open it in the MATLAB terminal. Notice here we get, again have a vector of subjects, one through six, and we have everything now within a for loop. Any time that we need to change the results directory or beta location directory, we use the subject variable. You can simply run this script that's already been finished for you, 
and it will run the search rate analysis for every subject. I'm going to fade out here and come back when it's finished. Lastly, we're going to do the same thing for the ROI analysis. To do this, we're first going to go back to this site and download the rest of the subject masks, two through six. Now, I've already done this, I've already unzipped them. I'm just gonna show you where they are. They're in my downloads folder near the very bottom. And what you'll have to do within each one, if you haven't already, is double click on mask for VT to unzip them. Once you've done that, open up a terminal and copy and paste the code in the more info box down below. Go into the Haxby masks folder, then copy and paste the for loop, which will put each subject's mask within that folder and label it according to the subject number. When that's done, go back to the GitHub page and download the file Haxby MVPA ROI scripted and save it to the Haxby data directory. When it's downloaded, go to the MATLAB terminal and open up the file. You'll notice that most of the changes are the same as what we did to the searchlight analysis, with the subjects variable and the for loop. Here we've changed config analysis to ROI. We've also changed the config results dir to ROI results. All of the other changes should be pretty straightforward. Now run the script by typing Haxby MVPA ROI scripted. We'll leave this running for a bit and come back in the next video showing how to run second level results for both the ROI analysis and the searchlight analysis.